in today's video we will try to understand the structure of the frog's heart so the frog's heart is basically made up of these three compartments two auricles and a ventricle apart from this there are certain other structures which also help in the working of the heart so on the dorsal side the sinus venosus is present which is roughly a triangular structure and on the ventral side you can see a bulbous structure is present which is the truncus arteriosus so now let us get started with the structure of the heart first of all the heart is made up of cardiac muscle and the cardiac muscle is in three layers epicardium which is the outer layer middle mesocardium and inner endocardium and there are two thin pericardial membranes which cover the heart the inner one is the visceral and the outer parietal pericardium in between the two pericardial membranes is the pericardial space which is filled with the pericardial fluid which protects the heart from shocks the two auricles or the atria are present the large uh, the the right uh, auricle is much more larger than the left auricle and on the external surface a groove is present between the two which is referred to as the sulcus or the coronary sulcus and this is a vertical groove internally the between the right and the left auricle an inter auricular septum is present and then on the dorsal side of the heart a triangular structure which is a sinus venosus is present the sinus venosus gets in the deoxygenated blood from the various parts of the body it has two pre cables or the superior vena cava which collect the blood from the anterior parts of the body and it has one single post cable or the inferior vena cava so the inferior vena cava gets the blood from the hind parts of the body thus the deoxygenated blood is got from various parts of the body through the sinus venosus and it's got through the pre cables and the post cables post cable to the sinus venosus and this sinus venosus opens into the uh, into the right auricle and it opens by means of the small hole or an aperture known as a sino auricular aperture which is guarded by the valves and these are a pair of valves flap like valves and the left auricle gets the pure or oxygenated blood from the pulmonary vein and this is so the pulmonary vein opens into the left auricle by an aperture next is let us try to understand how the other part parts of the heart are on the uh, ventral surface of the right auricle is present a thickening which is known as the sino auricular node and it is also known as a pacemaker because this initiates the contraction of the right auricle then so these two auricles open into the ventricle so ventricle ventricle is a conical structure and it is highly muscular and a horizontal groove is present between the auricles and the ventricle and that is also referred to as a coronary sulcus if you look to the internal structure of the ventricle you will find that there are several projections within the ventricle and these are referred to as columnae carnae or the trabeculae and 
these projections reduce the lumen of the ventricle. Auricular ventricular valves are connected to the wall by means of the thin threads which are known as a chordae tendini. And on the ventral side of the right side of the vent uh, ventricle you find is present a conic uh, bulbous structure which is known as the truncus arteriosus. The opening of the ventricle into trun truncus arteriosus is guarded by three pocket like semilunar valves which prevent the backflow of blood. Internally, the truncus arteriosus is divided into two parts. So these, this is the truncus arteriosus and it is divided into two parts. So this part is known as the pilangium. So it is the proximal part. And the distal part is referred to as the synangium. So the pilangium, pilangium is also referred to as the conus arteriosus and the synangium is referred to as the bulbous arteriosus. And internally, the pilangium is divided into two unequal portions by a spiral valve, which is a longitudinal groove. So the spiral valve divides the pilangium into two parts, the cavum aorticum and the cavum palmocutaneum. I'll show you another diagram where it is much more clear. So this is the spiral valve and it divides the pilangium into cavum aorticum and the cavum palmocutaneum. Next is the synangium. Synangium has a transverse septum which is called as a septum principale and it divides the synangium into two portions a dorsal chamber and a ventral chamber. So here you can see the ventral chamber. Distally the truncus arteriosus bifurcates and into two trunks. One is the right and the other is the left trunk and each trunk bears three arches or vessels carotid, systemic and pulmocutaneous arches. The, pulmo, the cavum uh, pulmocutaneum through the dorsal chamber leads into the pulmocutaneous arch. Next, the sinus venosus is a thin wall chamber which receives the two pre cables or the superior vena cava and one post cable which is the inferior vena cava. So, these are the various structures of the heart. First of all, we have to remember that the heart is three-chambered consisting of two auricles and a ventricle and the uh, right aur auricle is much more larger than the left auricle and the right auricle has the opening of the uh, sinus venosus as well as on the ventral side of the right auricle is present the pacemaker or the sinoauricular node. And, uh, you also find that uh, the ventricle is a conical, roughly a conical structure and the ventricle has in these internal projections which are the uh, columnae carnae and the ventricle uh, opens uh, into the, uh, the truncus arteriosus by the semilunar valves and also there is an opening between the ventricle and the auricles and the auricles have uh, valves which are connected to the wall of the ventricle by the chordae tendini. And we have also understood the sinus venosus. We understand it has two pre cables and one post cable and this is a collecting duct. So the uh, uh, deoxygenated blood is poured into the right auricle and oxygenated blood is poured into the left auricle through the 
pulmonary vein. Then we have tried to understand what exactly is a truncus arteriosus. It's a bulbous structure opening on the right side of the ventricle and it is present on the ventral side of the heart. And here we, uh, we have seen that the, the truncus arteriosus is uh, made up of two areas. One is the proximal area which is known as the pilangium and the distal area which is known as a synangium. The pilangium is divided internally into two portions by the spiral valve. So the first portion is a, a cavum aorticum and the other portion is a cavum pulmocutaneum. As similarly, the, the, the synangium is also divided by means of uh, a septum principale, principale, which is a transverse septum, and divides the synangium into two chambers, ventral and dorsal. And at the distal end, the truncus arteriosus divides into two branches or the trunks, and each trunk wears three vessels, that is the carotid, systemic and pulmocutaneous vessels or the arch. Next, we will try to focus and try to understand on the working of the heart, how exactly the working of the heart looks like.